Duple Bun Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is... I am the Pope in question. My name is Reverend May Lynn. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. It is episode 465 of this podcast. Yes, yes, little Lebowski Urban Achievers, and proud we are of all of that. Bunny! Yes. I haven't written shit. Well, I, I, I wrote two pages of things. Uh, usually what happens is I write uh, the podcast throughout the week, the two weeks. But uh, I've been busy as hell because I just became a manager at the Halloween store. Which... Uh, I'm the full-time assistant store manager at the Halloween store. Is it the Halloween and store, it, or, 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 you, or are you just not saying the name? I'm just not saying the name. Oh, okay. I'm just, not, I'm just not saying the name to add a little bit of suspense, as if there's some other major Halloween store company in existence. Well, because I, I was picturing a... What was the name? I just a, Halloween store that was basically Wish. Okay. You yeah. Know? No. It's the Halloween. No, we're we're not... not that other store. We're the Halloween store. No, and it's we a have big name. This stuff that's all just crap. It's a big name Halloween store, a big name Halloween company that I don't like mentioning the name of. Because I have been previously employed by big names that that are I don't know how to finish this money. Help me out. That that what? That took retaliation. Yes, that took retaliation, and yes. I don't want to get retaliated upon by anything that I might do in my free time when I am not uh, working. For this company. So, uh, I do have a few topics of interest, a few things that I wanted to discuss here in our monologue. Number one. Well, uh, this first stop, stop and give the proper glory to my new podcasting screens. Uh, your podcasting screen is great for uh, this podcast segment, which we have named Jeff. And which is also nicknamed the Betty White Memorial Podcast segment brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends Download today. I really love it. I also like uh, the new announcement in the middle. Yes, I have got a bunch of uh, gigs coming up, which I will be talking about. But first, I want to talk about two bits of news. Okay. That have happened. In the news recently, that's why it's called news. Uh, at the end of September, New York City was hit with flooding, massive flooding. It was so bad. How bad was it? Thank you, Bunny. Thank you, Bunny. It's okay. Uh, it was so bad that. The sea lion enclosure flooded so much that a female sea lion was able to just go, well, fuck the Central Park Zoo. I'm going to walk around and see shit. Yeah. And so uh, a, a female sea lion started walking around Central Park. Um, let me tell you, I was... Not expecting them to do a live action Madagascar reboot. No. But apparently that's what you're getting. I imagine you're at Central Park. Oh man, it's raining really bad. Let's get shelter. <coughs> hey, what's that noise I hear over there? And you just hear, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. And then that's what's happening at the Central Park Zoo. Yes. Maybe. Yes. King Julian Maybe. King Julian might be there. So uh, after a uh, walk and what do you do about that? Because like I I I'm 
halfway between, like, leave the sea lion alone and get somebody to try to help the sea lion. That's on one side. Lion. Or fight the sea lion to the death. Because the way seriously, that... seriously, how cool is it to have your death be death by sea lion attack in Central Park? That is pretty impressive. The way I see it is... It's okay, like almost hey, kind of worth it. If... Oh, yeah, it would probably be... Not that you were killed by a sea lion, but you were killed in a battle with a sea lion. Yeah. Yeah. You saved Central Park. See, bunny? I reframed it. You're a hero. <laughs> no, oh, thank you, you and the sea it. lion. It's just like every Marvel DC team up. I don't know who are you are, stranger, but poof, poof, poof. Is that Doctor Doom? We're going to have to team up. Now you and the sea lion are together fighting the bad guys, and then afterwards, uh, uh, you meet new friends. Amicably. And, and, and in a hundred years from now, a, a transgender woman will be doing a podcast about me in their historical section. Yes. A hot ass uh, trans woman, I might add. But uh, I feel that if it's a well, really okay, dangerous... Now, wait a second. Now, if we're talking about a future trans woman, would they not have to be like a bit less hot than you? I mean, probably, yeah, so yeah, like, it, like, it, like, and like, half cyborg, and know, all crow. Watch in the how future. much hotness you're wishing them. Yeah, the way that I see it is, if a zoo animal is dangerous, if a lion gets out, if a elephant gets out, a cobra gets out. Yeah, you gotta like tase that sucker and get it back in the zoo asap. But if it's a, I feel that if it's a sea lion that gets out, fuck it, you've earned your freedom. Yeah, go go live a life, hop a train, go to Topeka. Uh, they're this big, they're hairy, and they go. I'm sea lion. Yeah, I remember they're huge. But I, I know, and so we should leave them alone and let them live their life because they got out. They're free. Hell yeah, they could get a job as an ad executive. The sea lions, the sea lions going around downtown. I'm gonna make it after all. Do, 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 do. And but it's still free. Topeka, Kansas. Yeah, but it's still Topeka, Kansas. So a, a sea lion trying to make it in small town Kansas advertising. Small town Kansas advertising. I think she'd be a big hit because she'd be a novelty. Small town Kansas. Small town Kansas advertising is my favorite Suf John Stevens album. Yes. Really like that one. But here's how they caught the sea lion. They didn't. Because the sea lion walked around uh, Central Park for a while, got bored, and went back to their enclosure and then just waited for the floodwaters to subside. And it's like, yeah, same. Yeah. I totally understand how you feel. I imagine that the sea lion got out and it's like, oh, man, I've been here for so long. I've been locked up for so long. I'm going to... Uh, explore New York. I hope it's exactly the same as I remember it. I'm going to go to Times Square, see a Grindhouse movie, go masturbate in an adult theater, pick up a hooker and some blow, and wait a second, what the fuck is an M&M store? Yes. Shit. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going to go back to my pool. Ah, oh, but first, I'm going to go see a Broadway play. Where's Phantom of the Opera playing? They what? Because they canceled it recently. They, you can't see Phantom on Broadway anymore, buddy. They canceled it? Finally? Yeah. Thank yeah. God? Yeah. Okay, well, it, it, then the sea lion's like, okay, fuck this. I'm going to go back to my 
school. Ah, but maybe I should uh, visit some of the sites because when am I going to get another chance? Yeah, let me do a little bit of the touristy thing. Uh, I'm going to go visit the Twin Towers. Oh, wait. Someone's whispering to me. They flew a what into what? And scene. That's my New York City bit. Yeah. Did you enjoy it, Bunny? I, I thought it was I did good. enjoy it. The Thank sea you. Should have stopped by Trump Towers, <laughs> but other than that, taking a that's big shit two. in Trump Tower. Can't do everything all in the first episode. Uh, in other news. According to a recent survey on airplane etiquette, Americans are nicer on flights than Canadians. So fuck off, Canucks, because we're the polite motherfuckers now. Yeah. Now, you damn Canadians, you're all the trailer park boys, and we're nice as shit. So fuck off, assholes. We're number one, and you have nothing. USA! 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 Hell yeah. Well, it's, it, nice it, let's, well. Also, let's also keep in mind that a study literally had to be done to find a place, any place on Earth where Americans are nice. That's basically that's basically what my wife said and when I like, when I planes okay they're nicer on planes when they're not screaming about invisible people yeah uh so uh how are you bunny are you doing good I'm getting old I'm getting old I I, I yeah they're, they're getting to be more reminders. So, like, I, I went on a bit of a binge on Tubi, watching, like, old 80s horror movies, you know? And I, I, I hope I didn't say this last yeah. time. I forget. Did I? Did I mention watching it, them in the last show? I don't know. It, yeah. you, well, we talked a little bit about Tubi, but continue. I, so, so I was watching a bunch of uh, 80s horror movies on Tubi. You know, and it would mm -hmm. come up to the sex scenes, always a, a, a big feature of an 80s horror film. You know? But now I'm just yes. like, Ew, your kids! Stop it! What are you doing? You're gonna ruin your lives! Yeah. One of the things that I've been doing to spice things up at the at my Halloween at my job at the Halloween store is I have a uh, we have walkie talkies, yeah. And every once in a while we'll get on a frequency with like a like a, the the mall police or someone nearby, some other business that are also using walkie talkies, and we'll get their uh, we'll hear a bit of what they're saying. So every once in a while I like to just get the walkie talkie and just start saying nonsense. So that's what I was doing first. I would go, uh, 420 Mambo Dog Face Banana Patch over. And then just see what happens. But now I'm trying to do Halloween themed announcements on our walkie talkies. Uh, we've got, uh, reports of a masked man hacking up teenagers at the camp again. We need to send some troops over there. Over. And my favorite one is, uh, uh, we've got a, a 2319 human child in Monstropolis. Please respond. So that's, that's what I've been doing lately. I feel like it's very, uh, you know, I'm, I'm cosplaying as a cop in the 80s. Yes. Yes. It is good. It is so, good. So, Bunny. But don't don't neglect the Funny. cops in the fifties who have to report giant crickets and things like that. Yeah, them. So, uh, bunny. Yes. I have a bit of a health announcement. Okay. That I need to make here on the show. Now, I just want to clarify. 
This is in no way an attempt to one-up you and your touching, tear-jerking announcement of your uh, courageous battle with cancer a couple of episodes ago, which is no doubt going to win us some awards. We're going to win a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pod, a podcasty, which I'm assuming is, like, the Oscars for podcasting. What would the... If podcastings are the Oscars... If uh, acting in movies are the Oscars and acting in TVs are the Emmys, I think the podcasters is the Rogan. So I think we're going to win a, a Rogan for your tear-jerking uh, discussion. Rondos. Huh? There is the, the Rondo. No, oh, there you go. Podcasting. That We'll win that one, too. But I just want to make clear this is in no way an attempt of me to sort of show up you or one-up you. Yeah. But I do have a pretty serious uh, uh, health thing that I would like to talk to all of you about. And uh, it's pretty serious. Maybe even, you know, some people say that what I'm dealing with is even more serious than what you're dealing with. Yes. Like, I would love for someone to just go to Donald Trump and say, you don't know anything about Pokemon. Because sure as shit, he's going to start faking some shit about Pokemon. Yes, yes. That would be pretty Oh, great. no, I am the best Pokemoner. I have caught all the Poke people and battled them. Pokemon, some people call them pocket monsters. Some people call, tell me that. You see, a man came up to me. Tall man, strong man, tears in his eyes. He said, Mr. President, you are the greatest Pokemoner in all of Pokemoning. You know, like he would yes. make up some shit. Yes. People, but, people okay, say, so. People are saying. That's it. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, I went to the doctor recently. Yeah. And. I got diagnosed with something, and it's pretty serious. And, you know, it's going to be a long road to fight this thing, but, I, you know, I'm going to put on a brave face and face this no matter what. But the doctor came to me, and, uh, yeah, I got that boom, boom, pow. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, you think it won't happen to you until it happens to you. You know? I don't know. What? Yeah. What happened? It's difficult. Say, say, say it again. What happened? I, I went to the doctor, and I got a diagnosis. It's not a big deal, but I'm going to be fighting this as much as possible. It's an uphill battle, but yeah. I, the way I like to see it is... Does, Despite what the doctor said, I don't, I don't, yeah, I got that boom, boom, pow. I don't know what a boom, boom, But I like to think I'm. What is a boom, boom, pow? You don't know about the boom, boom, pow? Yeah, I got that boom, boom, pow. Let me tell you what's worse about, what's the worst thing about getting, having that boom, boom, pow. Them chickens are always jacking my stuff. They're trying to copy my swagger. And I'm trying to tell these chickens, I'm on that next shit now. <laughs> you know, sometimes I want to grab these chickens and just choke them. Just choke the chicken and, and tell them, I'm so 3008. I don't even want to say what you are, but... I still don't know what's going You're, you're yeah. 2000 and late. There you go. There you go. So that's, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm not saying that I'm braver than you, buddy. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. Pretty serious. Happy birthday, Bunny. For those of you just tuning in for the first time, Bunny just turned 25. He's really oh, excited nice. about it because he could finally rent a car. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Congrats, Bunny. Yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, is that a lot of people refer to 
my co-host as Bud Williams, when in fact, uh, Bunny Williams was the scientist who created him, he would be Bunny Williams' monster. Yes. But, you know, not to nitpick, it's become common practice to be able to just call Bunny Bunny instead Sorry. of Bunny's monster. So it's it's okay. Uh, so uh, I, I am yeah, sorry. I'm a full time. I still argue they are both Frankenstein's. Fuck you. The monster yeah. is Frankenstein. The doctor is Frankenstein. The doctor is the is the monster's father. Henceforth, a Frankenstein. Dracula is Frankenstein. Hip hop is. Is Frankenstein. It's, everything's Frankenstein and nothing is Frankenstein? We're getting time. deep. We're getting deep here. So I have recently become the full... eating its own tail. Very much so. If a Frankenstein falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, <clears throat> that's what they say. That's what they say. So I have become the full-time assistant store manager at my uh, job at the Halloween store. I'm a Halloween first responder. I've been working there since August. And uh, yeah, the district manager called me and said, hey, Maylin, guess what? You passed the background check. And I, the first thing that came out of my mouth was, really? Y'all didn't find the bodies? Okay, then. So, yay. I'm really stressed. And I'm not getting a, a lot of sleep, and I'm really tired right now. But on the positive side, I'm losing weight. Yay! Yay! Huzzah! And also, uh, uh, funny. This week's movie has inspired me. Yes. Uh, I want to be a woman in hysterics. Okay. So I'm trying to to think of women things i remember the first time i went shopping in the supermarket in my pajamas it was oh, wonderful bunny hold on a second okay oh it was cvs i know my meds are ready um i've never been a woman in hysterics and I want to be a woman. Oh, I remember the first time that I went to the supermarket in my pajamas, which is totally fine because I'm a woman in a mom. That was a big step for me. We babysat uh, a baby yesterday. It was my daughter Amber's boyfriend's nephew? I... I, I think. I'm pretty sure I nailed that. If I didn't, I'm sure my wife will correct me in the chat. But um, it's so interesting. As a trans woman on hormones, I am changing like at a molecular level. Every tiny little bit of me is changing. And we had this baby in the house. And for the first time ever in my entire life, I got baby crazy. Okay. Like, I loved the baby, and I wanted to spend time with the baby, and I wanted a baby. Never felt like this before. Uh, so that was exciting. And and I'm, I'm looking for, you know, more steps to accomplish my true femininity. And, uh, yeah, I want to be in hysterics. I've never been in hysterics before. Well, isn't that actually? Just I want to be the first woman. Isn't that actually just a, a a a fake medical condition, so a doctor could finger bang you? No, I want to be. I mean, I want to be the. the I want to be the first person to see the monster. Fit. I want to be the first person to see the monster. I want to tell everyone, and I want everyone to say, "Oh, May Lynn, she's in hysterics." Oh, okay, okay. Now I'm seeing it. You know. Yeah, I want to be that person. I want to be in hysterics. I've never been... I've been near hysterics. I've been hysteric adjacent. 
but I've never been in it. I've gone to the door of hysterics, but I've never gotten in. Well, but see, the if, doorman but, won't let me in. But see, now I was taught from a young child that if you go into hysterics, I get to slap you. Hey, that just means I won't have to pay for it. <laughs> so that's good. <coughs> um, uh, I'm going to Memphis at the end of next summer. Really? Yeah. Uh, I've been asked to perform uh, uh, the comedy relief uh, uh, doing a story time slash comedy segment at another drag show in, like, downtown Memphis, Tennessee. It's going to be uh, loosely Elvis-themed. Okay. And, yeah, they want me to perform over there, so I'm going to get paid for it. I'm going to travel over there. I'm going to be doing a story time in... What I want to do is I want to get shirts that say Story Time with Mei Lin World Tour, and then it has Oklahoma City, you know, July... Memphis, Tennessee, August, and then those are the tour dates. Yeah. Uh, Malin's House, March. And then those are all the tour dates. It's my work. Storytime with Malin, World Tour 2024. It's a world tour of two whole states. Yeah. Boom. And I have a. Uh, uh, is there, is there any way of you sending these announcements? How about you throw it in my messenger when you get them? Okay. I absolutely will. The next time, I will. So, like, in August, I will be... Ten minute warning. Uh, <laughs> I That felt weird. Do you have to be the one to say that? Ten minute warning. I don't, I Thank don't you. say it anymore, because look at the screen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that makes me feel so much better that you said it. Um... And I also have a performance that's uh, happening in Ada, Oklahoma at the end of November that I'm really excited about. Uh, I auditioned for a play uh, about a month, month and a half ago. I didn't get a part in the play, but that's fine. Uh, I'm a manager and I have very little time. Uh, I didn't get the part, any part in the play, and I'm happy about that. My, uh, the priest of my Episcopal church, uh, he said, hey, Maylin, I, you know, I, I just wanted you to know that, uh, you didn't get a part in the play. It's not because you're trans. There are other trans people who auditioned to be in plays. And it's, and I, I tried telling him in the nicest way possible, oh, no, I know I didn't get a part in the play because I'm a trans woman. I didn't get a part in the play because it's the miracle worker and I'm not fucking white. <laughs> That's why I didn't get a part in the play. It has nothing to do with whether or not I'm trans. It has a lot to do with the fact that there aren't many fucking Latinas in this white ass play. I can't be the doctor. Yeah. I can't a Mexican, a uh, Latina wife to a white child. Yeah. So it's like I audition to audition and I audition. Yay. And now I am done. Uh, the next play is the Adams family that they're doing after the miracle worker. Their next play is like a musical of the Adams family. And I don't know the music. I'm not a guy anymore, so I can't be Gomez, and I don't think I have the chutzpah to be Morticia. Yeah. So, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to audition for that or not. Okay, okay. There is always Cousin It. Hell yeah! Okay, uh... Everybody can play Cousin It. This is my audition. This is my audition for the Adams Family. Please cast me. There you go. Boom. I don't even need. I don't even need a wig. So, 
And also, uh, if they need costumes for their play, do you know where they should go? The Halloween store. We have a whole Adams Family section. But anyway, um, Bunny, uh, for those uh, people who are watching, uh, I'm too old to be Wednesday. For all those people who are watching, who might be watching for the first time, let me tell you a little bit about me. My name is Mei Lin. I am a trans woman. I am married to a wonderful woman. We have been married for almost 20 years, and we have five kids. And here's another big thing. I'm no longer a virgin. That's a big deal. Hey, we, had, we have had five kids, but I finally had sex. As a woman, it, 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 I'm no longer a virgin. I'm pretty happy about it. Oh, good. I just wanted to mention it. it, I, it I, I had had sex. But now I'm a woman. I can hear my wife screaming from the other side of the house. Because she is currently watching this, and I'm talking about, uh, oh god, the door is open. Okay, I need a weapon. I need a weapon. I've got a blahage! Yes. I'm not afraid to use it! It is our personal business! I'm just talking about our hot lesbian sex! What's wrong with Cher? I, I haven't gotten into details. Okay, so my wife had her hands around my throat. Oh, wait. I'm not going to mention the details. You know why? Because I'm, I'm a gentlewoman. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Uh, I just wanted to mention it. So, okay. Monologue! That was a great Jeff. I thought I was about to get attacked. You were about to see an action scene. Yeah. That would have been exciting. Uh, but I think that's everything. Yeah, it, there's no half this week because I actually need to write those, and I just didn't write it. So, uh, oh, this is exciting. The edible has kicked in. Nice. So, yay! Later today, we're going to be going to church. My whole family, we're going to be going to church because today is the blessing of the animals where they celebrate St. Francis? I believe he's the animal guy, yeah? yeah. St. Francis. By having everyone bring their pets into the church, and there's a small church service, and then they bless with holy water. They bless each animal. And last year, someone brought a cat, and it got loose, and it's running all over the church, and there were a bunch of dogs, and, like, someone brought a snake. I think someone brought a rat. Uh, they've had people ride horses into the church before, which is exciting. And uh, we're going to be bringing uh, the husky Luna, who loves me. But then again, how it, it's hard not to love me. I'm very little. <laughs> So, uh, very excited about that, the blessing of the animals. And I'm also excited because we're going to be taking a break. We're going to be having a, a day. I love the break time countdown, too. Thank That's you. right here on the side. I love that. I, I love the concept of Dabney the alien. Because you always see aliens and they're like, ooh, we are a strong, superior race. And we have technology that you do not have. And we're smarter than you. And we're more violent than you. We're going to kill you. I just love the idea of an alien who's just lazy as fuck. You know? Well, that's 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 one of my questions about Wakanda. Okay? I mean, Wakanda looks like an awesome, awesome fucking place. Okay? But really, we're only seeing it from the point of view of the royalty. Yeah. You know, can we get a couple of cab drivers from Wakanda? How do they feel about Wakanda? That's where it's going to matter. What does a waitress in Wakanda think? I always had an idea for a Star Trek TV show about fast food employees in Earth yeah. during Star Trek, where it's like, like, it must be kind of sad when, like, 
all these people are out there in the never-ending space having all these adventures, but you're still on Earth flipping burgers, and you're not even well, getting paid. Well, I think fast food places would die in any culture where you had a replicator. You know? That's a good would, point. You would way point. more be dining out for... Uh, the overall atmosphere and feel of the place. You know, because... Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm pushing a button. Yeah. That would be... Because you could just the order their, their ribs through the fucking replicator. You yeah. Don't have to go out. That's a good point. I, I don't know much about Star Trek. Yeah. Uh, so, do you think... So, William Shatner just gets none of that... Uh, Mike Myers money from Halloween. Then they, yeah, yeah. I don't see why he should. Because the mask was like they turned the mask inside out and they painted it white. But but he like, got but he got the money for the mask. That's that that shouldn't count. I'm just saying they should give they should shoot the shack a little bit of of, of uh like royalty. For, no. for Michael Myers. No. Fuck That's William what I Shatner. Think. Well, yes, fuck William Shatner. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to be taking a break. I'm going to be doing a costume change. I'm going to be putting a skin tight red outfit. You are absolutely. Oh, God. Here comes my wife. Okay. What? And then it turned inside out. Like my vision is 